July 2022 marks 50 years since the Robins Committee, led by Lord Alfred Robins, published a landmark report that transformed Britain's regulatory OSH approach, felt as far away as Singapore and Australia. Accidents and fatalities at work by 1970 were unacceptably high and the UK regulatory system wasn't working. One of several catalysts for change was the Aberfan disaster in 1966, in which 116 schoolchildren and 28 adults were killed by a tip of coal waste sliding onto their South Wales village. His 1972 report transformed Britain's prescriptive health and safety approach and paved the way for the Health and Safety at Work Act 1974, which created a ripple effect felt around the world. It has shown remarkable adaptability, even half a century later. Those who create the risks are best placed to manage them. The Robins report controversially championed the idea of self-regulation. The report's recommendations were substantively enacted in the Health and Safety at Work Act. This pivotal legislation created two new bodies, an independent, tripartite Health and Safety Commission and the Health and Safety Executive, with the dedicated aim of protecting people from risk. The OSH system that the report introduced helped to reduce work-related deaths in Britain from an undoubtedly underestimated figure of more than 1,000 in the early 1970s to about a tenth of that now. The Robins report remains a defining moment, not only in the evolution of risk management, but also in workplace safety culture as we know it today. Read more commentary from industry experts on how the Robins report redefined approaches to safety in the latest issue of IOSH magazine.